Morning. Must be Thursday. That means I'm Matthew Hammond and it's the Phonic Drama Show. And here I'm with my um, storytelling partner, Widsith. Good morning. Back. We used to do a show, God, it was a long time ago, called Widsith and Dior Presents. We did. It was good. We covered all kinds of things, including, oh gosh, the entire history of the kings and queens of England from the year dot. And, uh, ooh, arty things like expressionism and oh, all sorts of philosophical subjects. But well, that was a tiny well, it's a half an hour later, and you're not a morning person when you're the, the drama show t- this time. But you're here as a special event, aren't you? Well, I'm here for because we've got our Halloween show on Monday, this sort of coming Monday. 31st. Which, yes, it is, the 31st of October, and uh, it's going to be upstairs in the Phoenix at the Voodoo Lounge. And tickets are seven pounds um, slash five pounds concessions. But for the first twenty people that turn up, it'll be five pounds. So make sure you're one of the twenty. Yes, do um, get there early. Are we doing? Can you remind me what we're doing, please? The house on Haunted Hill. So we are doing a collection of ghost stories framed by the idea that you have been invited to an old country house on top of the hill but and all these people are sitting around a dinner table and they are telling different tales to pass the time because nobody knows when the host is going to turn up or, who, like a sp- or indeed what it is sounds like a spooky film then pretty much yeah and are the story standard with it in deal fair I don't think they're going to be, no. no we, yeah. We're going to be doing some really uh, literary ones. I mean, we're stripping them down to, to tell them, you know, sort of, and make th- turn them into theatre. But, uh, yeah, we've got some pretty quirky tales coming along. We'd better do one in a minute. I'll just play some uh, music, and then we're going to do... We're doing today, we're doing the... The Fall of the House of Usher by Edgar Allan Poe. Well, originally read Dredd and Poe. If, you are, if this is your favourite story in all the world, though, it might be an idea to look away now. It's going to be an extemporised uh, adaptation, so it's very much our own version so of it. It's story it. told. Inspired it is story it. told. So please, please, please don't sit there with the book open saying, you messed about. I'll have missed most of it, I would have thought, but I'm finished.